When you first receive this terminal, it will need to be programmed. The terminal, when it is first powered up, will take you to the system menu. I will demonstrate the download process. Select option number two, or scroll to option number two by, by using the arrow up and arrow down keys. Or simply select the number two key. I will scroll down. Once highlighted, press enter. At this point, the terminal is asking for a swipe merchant card. We don't have cards, but just press enter and it will allow you to enter the site ID. If you know your site ID, go ahead and enter it. If you don't, call customer support and they will tell you what that number is. We're now in the download menu. We will need to scroll down to number two, option number two, to configure the communication parameters. I will scroll down using the arrow down key and press enter once highlighted. We're now in the communication parameters menu. Option number one asks for a phone number. Because we're going to be downloading via phone line, we will need to enter the phone number in this number one option. Press enter to enter number one. If you don't know your number, please call customer support and they will give you the current phone number for the download. Enter the number by pressing the keys. Once you've finished, press enter to get back to the original menu. Now you can see the phone number on option number one. To configure the medium by which it's going to communicate, you will need to go to number three and press enter until you get the desired medium. We will be using the modem and to change that, you will press enter to scroll through the different types of communication. COM1 is a direct download. External modem we do not have. Ethernet is for IP terminals. Once again, we are back to modem. Once you have the desired medium, you will press menu escape, which is the red key, to exit the communication parameters and you're back to the download menu. At this point, you will need to scroll up or press option number one, highlight it, and press enter. The terminal will begin to dial. It will take approximately 15 minutes to download the complete program to this terminal. The date and time will be displayed once the terminal has successfully completed the download. Press the red menu button to restart the application. The terminal will display a series of prompts and ultimately stop at the initial display screen of the prepaid service program. This concludes the download process.